Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video and today we've got a video I am so excited for. I have been waiting so long to be able to bring this to you. It is episode number one of Master League on eFootball Pez 2020 and this is going to be such a fun series I think. Because we are going to be doing things a little bit differently on the channel. Like how we do. This is going to be Diego Maradona taking over at West Ham United. <laughs> Alright then guys, let's get right into it. Let's go into the Master League. New. Let's find where West Ham United are. All the way down at the bottom in the Premier League. Let's hope that's not a sign of things to come. And we're going to go with Diego Maradona. Just some of the other managers. Johan Cruyff, Zico, Romario, Bebeto and Roberto Carlos, Lota Mateus and Ruud Hullet. And I think all the others are just custom game managers. So let's go for the one and only Diego Maradona. Let's get him out of that suit. Let's get him into the sportswear. He does strike me as more of a sportswear kind of guy. So let's go, okay. And we'll go transfer frequency. You know what? We'll go fairly high. Let's see what that does. Negotiation difficulty. We'll leave that on normal. And budget on normal. First window transfers. Because it's a new series, we'll leave it at that. And then weekly wages. Match level, top player. We'll leave it at that, and of course, we'll go for pounds. And so everything else looks pretty much how you want it. So let's go, okay, and let's get into this. And here we are, Diego Maradona, walking around the West Ham training ground. Let's see, who is he going to meet? Who is he going to meet? Super Noble. Super Noble meeting the legend, Diego Maradona. I'm sure them two could talk a thing or two about football with each other. And he's catching Anderson on the phone. Don't be doing any more of that while Maradona's about. And just having his casual cup of coffee. At least I hope that's a cup of coffee, if you know what I mean. And Declan Rice meeting Diego Maradona as well. What a legend for Rice to be meeting. And still want a cup of coffee. That's got to be cold by now, you would imagine. Okay, so first things first, setting our goals for the season. What are the board going to be expecting from us? Hopefully nothing too crazy. What are we saying? For this club to go from, from, bleh, for this club to go from strength to strength, we need to maintain our place as one of the top dogs in the league. Maintain... We're not one of the top dogs in the league. As much as I would love us to be. But you know what? Champions League. A little bit ambitious. Even Maradona would, would say that, I think. Let's say we can finish it in the top half. I want us to finish in the top half of the league. Specifically, 8-4 or higher. That's more like it. That is what I'm hoping for West Ham to get. IRL. So, hopefully, we can do that in the game as well. As you see, Maradona, with all his diamond earrings in there. Two on one in, one on the other. Why not just go and make it symmetrical? Two on both. I don't know, but I'm not going to ask him, because I think if I ask him, he might punch us. So I'm going to stick away from asking Maradona that. And yet, coaching team is behind us, as I would hope they are. As he, he's on an iPad there, not sure what he's got on there. Probably some sort of book. And oh, here we go. First ever press conference as West Ham manager. And I do like that football. That's a very sexy football. If anybody knows where I can get a cover and blue football from, let me know in the comments down below. And so congratulations on becoming manager. What's your plan for the team? Uh, I have my own ideas. I have my own ideas. That is what Maradona would say. He seems a very forceful, forthright man. So we'll see what he says. My first job here is to teach a team my brand of football. 
If a player finds himself unable to adapt, then he'll be sent packing. Ooh. Maradona going to be strict, apparently. And um, what style of football do you want to play this season? Sexy football. Sexy football is what we want. I want to put on a show. So let's see. You can't blame people for wanting, for wanting to see results. But I'm of the opinion that putting on a good show is just as important as winning. If you're going to win, make sure you're winning style. Yeah, that is Maradona. Down to a T, I think you can say. And that ends that press conference right there. And so let's go have a look at our messages. What have we got? Let's go all the way down the bottom. Uh, season's target. We've taken a look at the objective you, you your staff and the, and the director have set and see no problem with it. Okay, so that's good. And schedule for, all, for August. National team squad announcement. Nothing really too much to say. Oh, apart from our second game is against Tottenham. That won't be today because I don't want this video to be too long. But that will be on the next episode. We'll play that game. And just about managerial career. Other teams haven't looked at us already. And managing the budget. I'll go and have a look see what the budget is in a minute. And then to set our scouts to look for someone. We've got to go team, team management, negotiation, scouting. And then it takes about two weeks to get something back. So, okay. Who have we got first up? Palace at home. Okay. That could be a winnable game for us. And so, speaking of getting the scouts to find us someone, I really do want a new striker. So, let's go forward. Let's go area. Uh, Europe. Just go all over Europe. And then, just don't fo focus on... Focus on uh, overall rating. And then please do consider the budget. And speaking of the budget, 65 million quid. That's not a bad little amount there for us. And now how do we search for people? There we go. And so first player I want to look for is someone who I've used in Football Manager. And so I want to see if he's moved in the summer. I'm not sure if he has. Kasper Dolberg, yes he has, but let's see if we can get him, let's go, what, 40 million is his release clause, we will happily pay that, and give him a three year deal, and, oh, can we get him on a 16 grand a week deal, that would be absolutely mental, and five grand for every goal, let's go for that. And as well as that, another striker who's a little bit older, who I do like using on these kind of games. Is he still playing? I think he still is. Dzeko. This just shows how poor my European football knowledge is. And nope, he's not in the game. So that's disappointing. So anyone else who I can think of right now who I want to have a look at. Oh, uh, Wilson from Bournemouth. He's another one I do like. So, can we find him? There he is. 81 rating. Not a bad little rating for him. And so, let's go up to transfer fee. Oh, okay. Let's, let's try 38 million. And a three-year deal. And give him a 60... Oh, give him a 53 grand a week deal. We do only have 42 grand. Left in the budget, but I am just about to sell a couple players, or at least attempt to. So, like, Ogbonna, you can leave the club, my man. As can, uh, who else? Cardoso, no idea who you are. You must be a new youngster, because I don't recognise your name, if I'm going to be too honest. And so, let's go, Zabaleta. Uh, 76 rating, do we get rid of him? I don't think we do. I think we keep hold of Zabaleta, if I'm going to be honest. And let's go. Who else can we get rid of? Sanchez. Sanchez, you are absolutely dog sight. So I really do hope we can get rid of you, my man. And then David Martin as well. Let's see if we get any offers for any of them. And Okay, so negotiation with Dolberg. He has declined our offer. 
Okay, so he just wanted more money. Well, that's not very good. Uh, news on, on the negotiations for Callum Wilson. Uh, they want they want forty million. I think I think we go for that. I think we go for that. So team management negotiations, other teams. Where is it? Oh no, that's the wrong one. Callum Wilson. Uh, yeah, we will accept the terms. No. Okay, no, we won't. Not just yet. So we'll see if we can sell any of our lads. Hopefully we can, because I would like to get Callum Wilson in. I think him and Sebastian Haller up top could be very good to play alongside one another. Oh, here we go. Now we've got some offers for some of our players. Uh, Everton want him. Why would Everton want Sanchez? I don't know. But I'm happy to let him go. And Snodgrass. Leeds want him back. And oh, one more message I missed there, sorry. The fact they've found three strikers for us to have a look at. Who have they found for us? Uh, Morales, Ryan Fraser or Inaki Williams? Not exactly the strikers I was wanting, but... Okay. Is there any way I can set it to, like, to centre forward? There we go. So let's see if we can find any... And he sent the forwards, that would be rather nice. And now where is Sanchez? There he is. 144 grand. It's worth it just to get his just to get his wages off the books. As there you go. And Snodgrass. Let's see, can we ask for five million? Yeah, let's go five million. I think he's worth that. And then we'll see what leads say. To that particular negotiation and now can we add Callum Wilson in now yes we can so there we go big big money sign in there 40 million quid comes just under the price we paid for Sebastian Haller IRL and so you know what that I think is gonna be our team for the um, for the first game so let's go and have a look, see how we're going to set them up. I think we go, do we go like that? I don't think we do. I think Lanzini there, Rice there. So we go 4 2 three, one. And yeah, and we put Wilson on the bench for the first game when he joins. Which actually, I've got to do the subs now because otherwise knowing me... I will forget. So Antonio goes there. And get four nails on the bench as well. And Wilshire in place of Reed. So yeah. So that is going to be a team for the first game. We've just got to add Wilson into the team. So let's go forward time. Let's go next. Here we go. Callum Wilson arriving at the West Ham training ground. He looks very good in his suit. And here we go for his press conference. Signing for the club. Look at all their microphones. Big, big deal this. A lot of press interest in this one. And he's saying he wants to get to the very top with West Ham United. Which hopefully he will. With Diego Maradona as his manager. And that's him with his little announcement video. A big thank you to the supporters for my welcome. Let's make history. He certainly seems a happy boy, doesn't he? And so congratulations on signing a player. No doubt you're looking forward to seeing him in action. But newly signed players may not be accustomed to how your team plays, which can temporarily lower your team spirit. Okay, so he just needs game time pretty much. And so, yeah, where is he? There he is. Wilson on the fence. Uh, in place of, oh, who do I take off? Um, in place, let's go there, but swap Wilson with Balbuena. I think that's what we want. Yeah. Uh, take Wilson off, actually, because I do, I do like to have a central defender on the bench, just in case anything goes wrong with our defence. And oh, look at that for a transfer deal. Alexis Sanchez has joined, he's joined Chelsea. 
technically from Inter Milan in the game, but he's pretty much gone Man U to Chelsea, really. So that's a very weird deal. And Fabianski, of course, is in the Polish national team, as you would expect, because he is the Super Pole. Here we are, league opener, chapter one. First ever pre-match press conference. Your first year as manager of the club is just about to kick off. Do you think you'll be including newcomer Callum Wilson on your team seat for the first league game? Uh, he'll come on off the bench. But I'll say I haven't decided yet. We'll see how he does. The first match of any season is always important. But I prefer not to get bogged down in who's on my team seat. And everyone's got a chance to start. Very good answer there from the madman, Diego Maradona. And actually, one more thing I want to change on the game plan. Something which I have been finding has been working. Because I've, I've been playing a one-off league season with West Ham. Just while I waited for Master League to get ready. And so this is how I've been setting the team up on that particular game mode. And so, yep, conservative pressure. Compactness, a little bit more compact. And so, yeah, that's our defensive instructions. All out defence, middle containment area, conservative pressure in, low defensive line, decent compactness. And as for attacking, we're going to go counter attack. We're going to go long pass. And we're going to go uh, for centre passing or centre attacking. And then we're going to go maintain formation, a lower support range. So the players are a bit closer to themselves, or closer to each other even. And so yeah, that is going to be how we're going to set up for the first game of the season. Fabianski in goal, Masuaku on the left, Balbuena and Diop in the middle of the defence, Fredericks on the right hand side, Declan Rice and Noble in the centre midfield, and then Anderson, Lanzini and Yarmolenko just behind the main man, Sebastian Haller. And oh. Okay, I didn't realise this was in the game. This is cool. Pre-match uh, team talks. That's very, very cool. And Palace are a tough side, but that's no reason to fear them. The supporters will be giving it their all out there. And we're at, we are at home for the first game of the season. So we've got to do well for the fans. Please let us do okay. At least get a draw. That's what I'm hoping for for the first game. A draw, maybe a sneaky 1-0 win. That is what would make me very happy. Oh, look at the London Stadium here. I know it's not the official one. It's a bit more round, I think, than what our stadium is, IRL. But look at all those Claret and Blue fans. And Marky Noble getting ready to lead us out for yet another season. All the banners as well. Beautiful summer sunny day. Let's get into this game. I'm going to make a prediction early doors. I do like to make predictions before games. So I'm going to say 1-0 win for West Ham. As we're just going to take a few seconds. Just to get Red used to the ball. And just to try and find what we're doing here. And now Lanzini, Yarmolenko. He goes out wide. Tries to cross the ball in. And Lanzini with a header. And oh, almost a very early goal there. And now ball goes to Mayer in the middle of the pitch. And Zaha nods it down. Goes to Wickham. Wickham with the shot. And Masuaku trying to curl the ball. Trying to get the ball away there. After the shot. From, after the save even, sorry. From Fabianski. And now Yarmolenko. Oh, referee! What an awful challenge that is. That's very much a deserved yellow card for the Crystal Palace man there. Who was it who made the foul? Mil Mil can't even say it. Mil Milolovic. Oh, Zaha's in the box. And Diop with the block. Thankfully, that just goes out harmlessly for a corner ball. And now, oh, Joel Ward with the ball, crossing it in. Oh, somebody, someone there has got the ball away. Not sure who, but it's come back at us. Come on, referee, blow your whistle. Come on, we're not be having, supposed to be having any extra time here. And now, as soon as we kick it, 
Told ya. Palace allowed all the time in the world there to attack. But as soon as we try to get it away, absolutely nothing. Let's have a look at the half-time stats. Oof. We've only had the one shot. It was on target though. Whereas Palace have had four shots with two on target. We're going to leave things how they are for the time being. Give it 10-15 minutes into the second half. And then think about making some changes. And now Cahill in the defence for Palace at the start of the second half. And Lanzini wins the ball back early. And now Sebastian Haller plays it to Anderson. Ah, and that was poor. That was poor. And we put them under pressure. And we get the ball back for a throw in. And oh, okay. Two minutes into the second half. They're making a change. Why not just make that a half time? That's a weird one. And now Lanzini, Noble, Masuaku, Anderson. Oh, why? Oh no! Oh, they're gonna they're gonna hit us on the counter here. Oh no! Oh, what a stop from Fabs! Well done, Fabianski. Noble, Yarmolenko, Lanzini. Anderson. Felipe Anderson takes control of enemies on the move. Oh, that's neat. Masuaku. Masuaku put into the mix. Halla with a header. Oh, a winner. Halla. Come on, Halla. Come on, Halla. He's doing well here. Gets it wide to Anderson. Oh, he tries to cross it, but much, much too close to the keeper. Balbuena into Masuaku. Into Anderson. To Lanzini. Anderson. Oh, penalty! A referee! How was that not a penalty? Not very happy with a the referee there. Where is VAR when you want it? Ten minutes left. Let's get Haller off. He's not had the best of debuts, has he, if we're going to be honest. And Antonio as well. You know what? Sod it. We're going to risk it. Three subs at once. Antonio on for Yarmolenko. Wilson for Haller. And Lanzini making way for Pablo Fornells. And all Anderson out wide goes to Masuaku. Can it all referee? Oh, oh, we've won it back. Why has Anderson not made a run? Ah, oh. if Anderson had run into the box there, I think we'd be leading right about now. And Fabianski with a long ball forward. Oh, no. Oh, Benteke, no. No! Oh, no. Oh, how does Benteke score against you? Oh, that is awful. Just as I thought we might be able to push forward and nick a winner. Ben Teke scores his first goal in about 457 years. Beats D up there and as soon as he had, there really was no missing, even for someone as awful as Ben Teke. And now, just get the ball to Antonio. Oh, that's a poor pass. And I think that's going to be that, as indeed it is. Ah, oh, really thought we deserved at least a point from that game. Let's have a look at the stats. What were the match stats at the end? We only had two shots. Could have sworn we had more than that. They had six shots with four on target. I don't think that tells the whole story of the game.
That, that was a very, very even game, in my opinion. And so let's just see what the other results were in the league. Everton beating Tottenham 4-0. Love that result. Leicester beating Norwich. Arsenal beat Newcastle. Sheffield United and Bournemouth drew 2 all. Man City beat United. Oh, imagine a Manchester derby on the first weekend of the season. That would be tasty. Wolves drew with Burnley. Villa drew with Brighton and Hove Albion. Watford beat Southampton. And Liverpool absolutely spanked Chelsea. Alright, and league opener, chapter 2. What are they saying? We're getting slaughtered by the press and sports after that disastrous opening match. Wouldn't say, it was, wouldn't say it was disastrous, to be quite honest. I know, we'll bounce back, I'm sure of it. Yeah, we will. And we're going to bounce back in the best possible way by beating Tottenham in the next episode. And so, guys, that's where we're going to leave it for today. Hope you've enjoyed that video. My first video in about five or six weeks. So if I was a little rusty, I do apologise. But I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Pro Evo content. I've got not just this series planned, but also a Real Madrid Classic League series planned for whenever the Classic teams get released by Pez Universe. So please do check that out. I'll have to thumbnail up somewhere around here any second now. And as well, subscribe for FM19 content and FM20 content and Planet Zoo, possibly when that game comes out. So please do subscribe for all that good stuff. Give me a follow on Twitter at Bad Jokes Games. Join me in the FM Creators Discord. The invite link will be down below. And as well as that, give the Passion for FM a Twitter page a follow. They're a new, they're a content team I've just joined. So I'm going to be giving the link to their website and their Twitter page down below. So yeah, give the, all that good stuff a look. And I shall be back next time. I shall see you then. Bye.